So these are the few things which I brought. First of all, I brought this fish tank, a big fish tank with a stand with two fishes and a filter. This thing I brought after winning. This was my dream to have a fish tank in my house, a large big fish tank, which I brought. Then I bought a DVD player, a set-up box, and my dream, my best dream I had. I wanted this LCD. I brought this cloth also for it. Every day I keep cleaning this. The most important thing what I brought about money is my buddy Kevin. Look at this. This is my younger son, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. How are you, buddy? He's very talkative. Look how he's going to do. Look how he is. He's thinking, what are you doing, boy? Crossing east over the Los Angeles River, downtown L.A. is only a few minutes away, but you are entering a historically segregated territory that seems a world apart. This is the heart of the Latino community, traditionally plagued by racist city policies, a hostile police force, and most notoriously, for a violent and devastating gang culture. Removing the visible tattoos that are a menacing reminder of a darker past is one of the most vital services Homeboy provides. I have my appointment, which I'm going to take this one now, the one right here, and the one on the side. So everywhere I go, people will look at me, people will get scared. If I'm walking towards you and you're walking towards me, People will see me and people go the other way, you know? So they were like, they were, I guess they say, oh, look at that guy, guys. they think I was mean, which I'm not mean, you know? I could talk to other people good, but it's just, it just, I was just, I was just a little kid when, when I started getting those. You How know? old were you when you started getting? Uh, the ones in my head, I was, um, I was 14 years old. You're 14 years old? Can yeah. I see it? Yes, ma'am. Let me see, can you turn all the way around? So it says white. Right on this side. Fence LA. Yeah. And that was your gang. Yes, man. You've come to have tattoos taken off? Yes, ma'am. Which ones are you taking off today? Uh, the ones in my eye, uh -huh. three teardrops, and the one, the kiss right here, uh -huh. and then the ones in my back of my neck. What did the ones in the back say? It says, uh, time heals nothing. Uh -huh. And where, I mean, these are part of your story of, of who you yeah. are at this point. Yeah. Why are you getting rid of them? I got these ones, too. You got those? <gasps> I'm, from, wow. I'm from East L.A., you know what I mean? I don't want to scare people from the three teardrops because they mean something to the people when they see that. What do they mean? They, they think that each teardrop means, you know, mean you kill somebody or mm -hmm. some. You know what I mean? To me, it means the three children I can't see no more. You know what I mean? Are these the first ones that you're having yeah, removed? Yeah, these are the first ones, you know what I mean, that people can see. Who knows? Maybe eventually I'll take them all off. But right now, it's just a process, yeah, you know one, what I mean? Yeah, take it one day at I time. lost everything. My wife, my three kids from crack cocaine, using uh, every drug there was out there. I had in some way a death wish where saying, you know what, I wasn't going to kill myself, but I'd be in other neighborhoods saying, just pull that trigger, man. I wish you pulled that trigger, man, you know what I mean? This could seem a slightly strange place to start a journey to try and understand LA, the metropolis, but this place kind of explains why LA is here at all. Now, it's a natural phenomena where crude oil and methane bubble up into a hole in the ground. And what it shows us is that LA is actually built quite literally on oil. The whole LA sand basin is sitting on one of the biggest reserves of crude oil and methane anywhere on the planet. And over 100 years ago, Los Angelinos worked this out. Jamezi is quite a happening area downtown. It is a flavor of old Beirut with a heap of new bars and restaurants that have opened up over the last few years. 
including Johnny Farah's restaurant Bread, where you can save a contemporary Lebanese take on Mediterranean food. Seafood salad. It smells so fantastic. Okay, Johnny, enough chat. I need to eat. First, I'm going to try is the seafood with the um, squid ink uh, vinaigrette. Mm. Yeah, that's great. Oh, it's delicious. It's a high season for seafood, so you can find shrimps and calamar and all that. Can we try this on mm. The sardines, good. the fresh sardines, spicy with. I mean, the Lebanese twist is definitely. I mean, I can. There's the herbs and spices in there that would be not Mediterranean. This is what we call the fiji. It's smoked. Full of flavour. Smoky. You kind of know, yeah, you kind of know it's good for you. Hurra. Oh. Hurra. Is it? Perfect. It's very good. It's good, no? Oh, it's so good. Quite salty. The meat is pink, but it's been rested. The mint puree is just perfect. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good fun, though. It's got dried cherries in it and, like, melting chocolate. Oh, this is very good. We need more people like you in this world. We massacred the fun, though. Thank you. Actually, my first stop is here in Burbank, but that's a technicality. Hollywood is a state of mind. It includes the idea that at any time, any place, anyone could be plucked from obscurity and become a star. You never know. It could happen. It could happen to me. It happens. Central casting. Central casting. Central casting. Central casting. Central casting. This is Abby. This is where the magic happens. This is Central Casting, Hollywood's oldest and biggest casting agency for extras. And absolutely anybody can walk in to sign up, no experience necessary, and dare to chase their Hollywood dreams. All right, page number one is the general information sheet. Please make sure you put your full legal name on there that is on your driver's license or identification card. Starting pay is only about 60 bucks a day for non-union beginners, but you do get to schmooze on the set with the A-list. Do you mind if I sit here? Anybody? Hi. Do you have a pen I can borrow? Oh, thank you. Oh, this could be our lucky day. Ethnicity, make sure you uh, only circle one ethnic group, the one that you look most like. If you look Hispanic, you're Hispanic. If you look African American, you're African American, so on and so forth. Please. What's your name? Levi. Levi, where are you from? Idaho. Idaho? I was born in Ohio. Also, in the dance, skills, sports, musical instruments, costumes, and car section, be truthful and honest. Do not make up anything. If you what skills do you have? Um, skills, uh, I can juggle. You can juggle? Yeah. Really juggle? Because I think I can juggle, but I can't. You can really juggle? Yeah. While the hopeful sign up, the real action is going on behind the glass wall, where casting agents are working the phone literally 24 hours a day filling the constant demand for hundreds of non-speaking extras of every imaginable type. They'd have gardener types, prisoner types. At the hot, hip and trendy club goers, which are all the good-looking 20-somethings. They asked me for a lot of dead bodies. They asked me to send pictures of who can be dead bodies, and believe it or not, a lot of people can't do it because they blink their eyes or they breathe when they're not supposed to on camera, so obviously it doesn't look like they're a dead body. Patrons, restaurant patrons, bar patrons. I needed to find a 300-pound bald white guy willing to wear nothing but diapers. Believe it or not, I would like to do a cowgirl. I can ride horses. I can shimmy. She can shimmy. I can, I can verify I can that. Jump. I can.